Ex-Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was giving a speech outside a train station in the western city of Nara, when a man approached from behind and fired a gun. Abe fell to the ground, bleeding. His alleged assassin was captured immediately. Authorities recovered what appeared to be a homemade gun. Authorities airlifted Abe to a nearby hospital, but by then officials say he showed no vital signs. At a press conference, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida appeared distraught. It is a barbarian act amid election campaigns, which are the foundation of democracy and is absolutely unforgivable. Abe had a profound impact on Japan. In 2006, he became the country's youngest post-war prime minister, but quit after a year because of a stomach illness. Five years later, he was back, beginning a transformative eight-year term. Abe boosted Japan's defense, saying the country should play a bigger role in world affairs. He supported a tougher approach to China, and he successfully navigated a tricky relationship with former U.S. President Donald Trump. He stepped down in 2020, but he remained a major political force. At the time of his assassination, Abe was campaigning for a Sunday election that officials say will continue. Bill Gallo, VOA News, Seoul.